Hey everybody, this is Keith here of Euphoria Pictures. Welcome back to my channel. Right, so I got this parcel through the door. Quite a hefty looking parcel, I might add. It is from my good friend John over at Mondo Chelevec Movies. Now, I knew this parcel was coming. I know a lot of the items that's inside it as well. And I can't wait to take you around everything that John has sent my way. So a huge, huge thank you, John, for this uh, for this gift. Uh, it has been a long time coming. Let's just say that as you know yourself. And it's great now to finally, finally have it in my hands. And uh, look, folks, it goes without saying, but if you haven't heard of John's channel, which I can't imagine there's too many of you out there, but I will leave a link in the description below. And please do check out his channel. He's one of the nicest people you will ever likely be on YouTube. And it was a pleasure getting to know him over the last, wow, it must be three years since we started YouTube. And uh, I speak to him very regularly. We do have very similar tastes as well when it, when it comes to movies. And uh, yes, very excited now to finally open this up. So a huge thanks again, John. So I'm not going to waste any time. Uh, I've already pre-opened this. I'm going to straight away dive into it. And the first thing I see is a lot of bubble wrap. Lots and lots of bubble wrap. And there is a letter here I see as well. And wow, no more kitchen roll. Very disappointed, John. The end of an era. Uh, <laughs> but look, it's still great to get a letter, isn't it? And uh, it goes without saying, but I will leave it in one of, the, uh, one of the items that you have sent me. So it says here, uh, Hi Keith, please find and close the movies that I have been promising you for 27 years now. A glorious surprise, oh, so, sorry, a glorious slipcase from our good friend Michael Hewish. He gave me to send you around 26 years ago. I'm really interested to hear what you think about the martial arts action movie in here. One of the best examples of the genre and there are all... And there are there are tom tons more of these from some amazing stars. Expect another package in around 25 years, mate. Keep up the great work, John Chelevic. That is fantastic, John. Huge thanks for actually writing that out for me. So, uh, right, here we go. Uh, let's start with the first item. Wow, everything is just literally just bubble wrapped here. So uh, this is the first one I see here. I am going to rip it open if I can. Uh, just bear with me. Uh, this is very well packaged. So here we go. Ah, um, oh yes. So this is the slipcover that I think John is talking about. Uh, and wow, that is absolutely beautiful. And it is the devil, the devil's double. Now I've never seen the movie. I honestly do not know what it's about. John was wow. He spoke about this movie. It must be a year ago uh, when he told me that he was actually going to send this to me. But look at this gorgeous, gorgeous looking lenticular on this release. This is actually completely sealed as well, but it is a beautiful, beautiful looking slipcover on this one. So uh, this is a movie, again, I've heard of, uh, but um, never got around to seeing it and uh, looking forward to checking it out. But look, I can't get over the cover of this. Uh, it does look quite amazing. And there we go, that is the back of it there. So uh, that is fantastic, John, and great now to finally, finally have this movie. So there we go, that's the first item, the Devil's Double. And again, if you could do, leave a link in the uh, leave a comment, sorry, and let me know what the movie is like. I'm very curious to hear your thoughts out there. <laughs> right, so it's not the end of an era because he had this hiding away. And it is the kitchen roll. Uh, you got me, you had me there, John. I thought that was it, I thought it was over. So... Um, Right, let's see what he says here. Uh, he says, but wait, you didn't think I wasn't going to uh, kitchen roll this package up. Uh, sorry, it's a bit bland. <laughs> uh, there's a movie in here which is from CX. I've left the stickers on so you can have the experience of the will they come off or not uh, heartache we feel over here. And also please find and close your special, not so special exclusive gift in here. Apologies in advance. And he went, cheers, uh, Mondo Perry. It's great to actually see the kitchen roll in there, John. Fair play to you. I actually thought you actually forgot. Uh, that is amazing. And of course, uh, I will put that in with the other letter as well. So, uh, right, on to my next item we have here. And I know exactly what this is. So, anyone that's aware of my channel, I there a couple of weeks ago, I picked up a terrible, terrible release of John Wick Chapter 4. And uh, I said in the video that I was sending it back. It was a horrible collector's edition. So I called upon John to see if he could pick me up an exclusive HMV steelbook of that movie. And rest assured, he did. And uh, 
and thankfully he was able to put it into this parcel as well. So great now to finally have the John Wick edition that I desperately wanted. Uh, I love the, you know, you know me, uh, black and red. I love that color scheme. Uh, it looks fantastic. You do also get a clear slipcase with this as well. And uh, I'm sure I will feature this movie again, probably in a haul video or something like that. And so I can sh finally share my thoughts uh, on the movie. I have seen it. I was impressed by it. I won't say anything more about it. The transfer is spectacular as well. But uh, that is great now to finally have this beautiful steelbook edition of John Wick. So thank you again, John, for that. You've really, really saved my ass. You've done it so many times. Uh, and uh, this is another example of it. So uh, thank you so much for that. Right, so here we go. This is the big pa uh, package here. A lot of movies wrapped up. So again, if you can just bear with me till I tear this asunder and uh, get a good look at what John has sent me here. Right, so uh, by the way, John, the packaging on this is absolutely amazing. Some of the package packaging actually inside looks very familiar as well, I might add. Uh, so here we go, the first movie and... This is an 88 films release, and it is The Mighty Peking Man. Now, I'm trying to think, did he tell me about this movie? It's one of those movies that's just, I think he might have said it to me. I can't quite remember. He just said it's, it is so crazy bad that it has to be seen. Now, I think that's the movie that he was talking about. And uh, yeah, I'm intrigued. I'm massively, massively intrigued. I, I, I don't know what the movie's about, but I do remember John uh, briefly talking to me about it. I think, I'm, I'm almost certain that he might have done a video uh, on this as well. I can't be too sure. But I'm just looking there. There is quite a lot of special features in there as well. So, uh, yeah, I'm intrigued. Again, know nothing about the movie. Uh, John sent it my way for a purpose, or for a reason, sorry. Uh, he obviously thinks that I'm going to get certain, a certain amount of enjoyment out of it. So, uh, yeah, that is unbelievable. The Mighty Peking Man. Uh, yeah, and actually the cover art is on it. It actually looks rather, rather nice as well. So uh, that's fantastic, John. Thank you so much. Ah, now, this is, this, is, this is a big one. This is going to be a massive one. So here we go. He sent me the uh, police story uh, parts one and two. This is a Eureka release as well. Now, I'll tell you exactly what's happened with this. Uh, me and John have spoken about this numerous times. But martial arts movies is something that I desperately want to get into. Uh, we've spoken about it a lot now, especially when the Bruce Lee uh, collection got announced there, the Golden Harvest harvest collection and you know i was i thought the box set looked amazing but i told john that i can't buy it because i'm just not into the you know in, into this genre and john turned and he said you know what i think I'll, I'll send you these these movies please story one and two and if you don't like these chances are you know, you're just not going to get into the whole martial arts thing now i'm very well aware of these movies they're probably jackie chang's most most popular movies i remember john saying as well that the picture quality on these look absolutely extraordinary so this is a this these are a huge deal now for me i have to admit this is um when i do watch these i really do hope i enjoy them because if i do enjoy them and not only that but i also have a, a collector's edition of enter the dragon pre-ordered and if i enjoy these movies and if i enjoy that enter the dragon i think then i might take a gamble on that arrow sesh of bruce lee uh, because it does look amazing and uh, I would hate to miss out on it in a weird kind of way even though yeah like I I keep saying that I don't want to miss out on it but again I just I can't justify spending that kind of money if I don't enjoy the movie so this is going to hopefully hopefully set me up nicely so uh, a huge thank you for that John that's the cover art there and then that's the back of it and as you can see typical of Eureka it is absolutely jam-packed with special features and uh, I will look forward to even checking those features out on this as well so there we go folks uh, please story one and two this is a uh, this is the big one uh, right I remember John doing a video on this uh, Dr. Caligari is that I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that name that name right Something Dr. Caligari, Cal Caligari, again, uh, apologies if I'm uh, mispronouncing that. But I do remember John doing a video on this. Um, I can't quite remember what he said about it. I know he is a huge, huge fan of it. Uh, I think he might have picked up a deluxe release of this. Whether it was from Eureka, I honestly do not know. But uh, wow, uh, the artwork on this is absolutely sublime. It really, really is. And uh, wow, there's a bit of weight to this set as well, funny enough. So you've got a DVD disc in there. You've got also a Blu-ray disc. Fair play to John. He put that little bit of bubble wrap in there as well. So nothing gets uh, sent around. And uh, you also get this uh, booklet as well inside. Um, 
yeah, it's just a, basically a write-up of the movie. So yes, I do remember John doing a, a video on this. And again, I'm mass massively intrigued. It, this is definitely uh, going out of my comfort zone, I have to admit. This is going to be something a bit, uh, bit uh, very different when it comes to myself. But again, I'm always saying this. There's a reason to why John sent this my way. And uh, yeah, I look forward to checking it out. And of course, it goes without saying, but I probably will feature these again somewhere in a future video and let you know what I think of it. So, right, on to my last movie, and this is the CX one. And, oh my God, I, I think this is the movie that John to you told me about. Yes, Offerings. Now, this is an 88 Films release. It's a slasher. Uh, it's one of the slasher collections as well. Um, I actually have a couple of these movies. I don't have too many. Now, John, I'm almost certain, told me that this movie is an absolute rip-off of Halloween. He even mentioned the music in it. Sounds very, very similar to Halloween. And the minute he said that to me, I was incredibly intrigued to check it out. I've never, I've never seen the movie, it goes without saying, but my God, I actually remember that cover so well. I remember going into like, my local video store back in the early, uh, the late 80s, and uh, I remember actually seeing this. I think it might have been the late 80s, it might have been early 90s, I can't quite remember. But I always remember the cover out on this. I had no idea what it's about. And uh, John said, uh, it is such a blatant rip-off. I think this is the movie of Halloween. And he said, you need to see it, Keith. It's, it's bad, it's bad in every possible way. But it's so bad that it's, it's borderline entertaining to watch. So uh, that's, yeah, that's incredible, John. Again, and you've kind of just added now a little bit more to my slasher collection. So a huge, huge thank you, John, for that. And again, I will let you know uh, when I do get around to watching it. So that is everything that I can see inside. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> ah, right. So as I, as when I was reading out the letters there, John said he was going to send me this little kind of little custom item. Now he told me about this, and uh, it is a sticker. And as you can see there, it has a uh, film written on it. You do see it on John's T-shirt, uh, and right around the back, he actually has uh, Mondo Chelovic written there. And uh, as you can see, JP is there as well. And I have number two of seventy-two. Now, I tried to get number one, but he was having none of it. He wanted to keep number one for himself. But I've got number two, and that is fantastic, John. Isn't that amazing? Look at that. A little custom sticker. So uh, that will go in with one of these releases. Probably the Devil's Double Double, because it looks absolutely astonishing, that release. So a huge, huge thank you, John. And that is, I'm just going to make sure, I think that's everything inside this box set. Now what I want to quickly do is, I just, I, I didn't actually open uh, some of these titles. I just want to make sure that John didn't leave another kind of <laughs> hidden letter uh, through any of these movies. Just bear with me for one second. No, nothing in there. Amazing, everything is lovely, a uh, bubble wrap inside each release. He's very, uh, he's very, um, he's very uh, careful when it comes to his movies. He never wants anything to happen to them. So uh, no, no other hidden letters. Uh, so that is everything inside this parcel and uh, wow John a huge huge thanks for that it's uh, I'm massively intrigued by a lot of the movies you've sent me here like I said a few of them are a bit out of my comfort zone but yes I'm sure there's a reason you have sent them to me and uh, again I keep saying it but I will let you know as soon as I get around to checking them out I think out of the lot I think the police story one and two is the one that uh, I'm massively intrigued by because it's it's a big deal you know it's going to set me up for future purchases uh, and i'm hoping this could be the start of uh you know me really getting into kind of martial arts movies fingers crossed it will be so there you have it folks so as per usual uh if you did like what you see here please do give it a thumbs up and if you could do leave a comment down below and please do share your thoughts on some of the movies that john has sent me here a huge thanks again john this means so much and uh yeah i hope to see you all again real soon with my next video until then take it easy bye bye